One of the things I've wondered about for such a long time is time. What is time? It's something that uh, physicists now talk about in their equations, that we all have some cognitive internal understanding of. But the more I think about it, the more confused I get. Well, you are saying exactly what St. Augustine said <laughs> a long time ago, that he thinks he knew, knows about time until he actually asks himself in detail what it is that he knows. I think there's all sorts of diff different ways of defining time, and they could all be very useful. Uh, Aristotle thought that time measured motion, and he seemed to suggest that if you didn't have any motion, you couldn't have any time. I'd have thought it made sense to talk of a changeless situation which keeps on being there for a period of time. Maybe you couldn't measure the time with clocks because clocks are things which keep on changing. <laughs> but still, it seems to me to make sense to say, here's a situation which might be undergoing changes. It's not in fact undergoing changes, but still it's in time because it might be undergoing changes. Quite a popular view these days is that time is a dim dimension of a four-dimensional block, or at least, let's say, to avoid the word block, which has spatial connotations, which <laughs> suggests that time is just a sort of space, let's say we have a four-dimensional continuum, and that time is one of the dimensions of that. I think that makes a lot of sense, and is very useful for a lot of purposes. I myself am a believer that there eternally exists a four-dimensional continuum, that time would, being a dimension of it. That would mean that, in a sense, things that are past have an independent existence. They're back there along the fourth dimension, and things in the future are forward there along the fourth dimension on this view, which is accepted by large numbers of physicists. But it, it, it is, in a sense, not... Uh, not a view that the what is back in the fourth dimension or ahead in the fourth dimension is not in the realm of uncertainty or hypothetical or remembrance, but has has a current reality. It's currently true that it's real then. <laughs> <laughs> it's not currently true that it's real now. <laughs> Well, because now we are in a we are in this fourth dimension now where time is, moves. Now, now is a particular cross section of the four dimensional continuum. But if theoretically one were an observer in a, in a fifth dimension, you could see the whole lot together. Where the four dimensions were this block which, or this continuum, mm -hmm. then there would be this simultaneous existence. Would it would all be there together, and I hate to talk of simultaneous mm, existence mm, 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 simply because mm. some people might be misled. They might take me to be saying that absolutely is, is happening now, and it's, a clear, it's clearly the case that not everything is happening at this very instant, because this instant on this view would be the particular cross-section of the four-dimensional continuum which we are, we are in. As somebody said in the famous graffiti, um, time is nature's way of ensuring that not everything happens all at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you have sequence of events without having time? Or are they synonymous? I can't see how it would make sense to... Well, oh, yes, okay, I can. If you had events which were all occurring at different points on the table, um, and each was a point event, it didn't stretch in time, maybe. I myself tend to think that a, a, a universe which just had a single instant would be too much of an abstraction to exist.